Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I might be explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, did you hear about the Austin street racing thing that went down at like a couple weeks, a couple I, weekends ago? I actually did hear about this. Yeah, like I, I didn't, I, like I'd heard about it and I like watched the video and it was insane. Yeah. Was it really that bad? I haven't seen any video. I just heard briefly about oh, yeah. the street so, racing okay, gangs. So I didn't know that this is a thing, and maybe it's not. Maybe it's starting to become a thing. But I guess there was sure. like there was a uh, intersection at, in Austin, and I, it was I don't remember exactly which one, but it was a pretty prominent intersection, mm-hmm. and like five hundred people like were there, and they were like <sighs> just they were blocking the intersection. This is like on a normal Saturday night. They were doing like donuts in the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. were like all this stuff, and the cops showed up. No, and, naturally. And all the people started like a pro, like all started walking towards the cop. So the cop car is like backing up because the people are like trying to surround the cop car. Then they start shooting fireworks off at the cop car, and it like <laughs> hit the windshield, and the firework like exploded on the windshield of the cop car. Like yeah. all it would take is yeah, one motherfucker yeah, yeah, yeah. with a gun out there. And, and it, like, I mean, it would have turned into a really and, bad situation really fast. And right? it is Texas, mind you. So. Oh, I'm sure somebody had a gun out there. If there's exactly. 500 people at a street racing event, one of them motherfuckers got a gun. Anywhere you're at, Texas, Ohio, somebody's got a gun at that because they just think they need to have it, right? No. Like, uh, so I know this is not like a, 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 it's not an outlier. This is a pretty normal occurrence. And I guess like in the South, these types of events are even like m- more normalized. Yeah. Like I swear in Florida, I've seen this a hundred times. It's like fast and the furious in real life. Yeah. And, and look, illegal street racing is illegal. It is dangerous, but I, I don't know. I well, feel here's like- the thing. This happened at like 9 PM. It wasn't like this is 2 AM. Like, yeah. like major Everyone in the city doing shit. And they're like, we're shut. 9 p.m.? On a Saturday night is okay, like prime okay. time for people to be out doing stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the fact that 9 p.m. on a Saturday, you're either doing one of two things. You're either out getting too drunk and doing something stupid. You're at home which you probably should be, or you're proceed, participating in an illegal uh, car drag race. At 9 p.m., grandmas are still playing miniature golf with their Nobody, families. No, no, no. You were in bed by 9 p.m. last night. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 I was. Uh, you were in bed at 9 p.m. last night. I was. You're yeah. right. You're not even uh, wrong. But yeah, dude, I was washed. like, but when I watched it, the first, just, I mean, the first thing I thought of was like, this would could turn out of control so fast. And I mean, it can, and, or it could go off without it. I don't know, man. I just, I'm like, oh, so some kids were drag racing, and there's like, you know, probably like five, five hundred people is a lot, but for an intersection, yes, that's a yeah, lot of people. But it was nice out. You, look, man, it's just only going to get worse once the weather starts picking people, up. Uh, people got out of COVID. Last last spring, we were just getting out of the COVID uh, for free to, scaredy. Now we got a whole year of, of out of that, and the weather's about to break again, and people yep. are like, I'm about to go out and just Bro. block the streets. I've heard this said on multiple times, but I swear to God that like COVID did something to people, man. People have come out of this and just snap. There's been more more mass shootings than there has been days of the week. Or days of the year. Oh, yeah, days yeah, of the yeah, year. I saw I mean, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not that they've all been like uh, someone going to a public place and do it, but like they count, they count any, I think, yeah. what, four people shot. Yeah, or more. Like even if it's at like an individual residence, that's still wild. It's that there's just, more more mass shootings. It's just that, and then the ish that's going on with people just like stealing stuff in California. And stuff. It is people have gone absolutely nuts, and I don't know if it's like a byproduct of just the fact that people were locked in their homes for a year and a half, or if it's like really like the uh, the economy is doing so bad and people are really that hungry out here. It or, is. I think it's like, it's a bunch, dude, because I feel like... TikTok. It's like an unreleased trauma response. They've all been all tra- traumatized and stuck in their house and they get out and they're just like, freedom, I'm going to live my life. I don't know if the Chinese, <laughs> I don't know if the Chinese balloon, spy balloon was like dropping like 
It was I, like a giant microwave. It was in there, popcorn kernel in our brains. Or dropping meth on everybody, getting them all meth. Oh, up. sprinkling some meth on it. Yeah. That's, that, that's how the Chinese do. <laughs> Is that what happens? You go to get off sure. the plane in China, they hand you some meth? <laughs> pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> crazy like, American. Here comes the American. Here's your meth. They give you a, they give you some apple pie, a cheeseburger, <laughs> and some meth. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's gonna get to it's gonna get to the point where we're just gonna have to cut up all cut off all these liberal states from the union. <laughs> the liberals, dude. <laughs> speaking of that, did you see? Like, I saw something. I can't remember that. I don't even want to say her name because she's crazy. I don't remember her name. MTG baby. Yeah, that she said that Magic the Gathering. It was something. Uh, something about that if if Democrats move to conservative states, they have to wait five years to vote or something. She's like, if they move to the conservative states, they gotta wait it. I'm like, you're just saying that people can't move and vote in your area because you don't want to lose your majority? So, like, so this insane woman, which is, you know, it's very interesting to me is like to be a politician, you either have to be like really good with like, you know, the humanitarian side. and the Yeah, charismatic and anth and, uh, anthropic. Is that the right? Ph philanthropic. Ph philanthropic, yeah. You have to be, you have to be, you know, on point with that. Or you can just be a raving, lying lunatic. Either way. Yeah, you know, there's two paths to the goal line, right? And right. I'm sure there's a bunch that you know don't make the don't make the news as much because you got like the certain ones that we see all the time. That that young lady kind of steers on the I'm a I'm a lunatic kind of side, and she kind of gives it, off those the, vibes. Um, it's the it, uh, shock value. I mean, I guess because she was wasn't she the one that was like heckling the president during the State of the Union address and stuff, like I, just out here, just like I, I mean, you know, you know, sure. I mean. <laughs> I get like I said, you get to pick two paths. You can either be pure business or you can be a lunatic. You know, both both of them get you to the same place. I'm sure, you know, certain people up at the top are looking at other people, their constituents who made it through being an insane person, and they're like, What is this person doing here? I'm here to do work. This person is here to get their TikTok followers up. Yeah, so. right. Like, yeah, that's what I imagine like the the uh like the career politicians that are in like the house or whatever. I don't know which one she's in. Like, they're just like, can we just get this bill talked about? Like, I'm just trying to come here and do some work. And you're up here, like, yeah. smoking crack in the bleachers, like, just trying to cause a ruckus. Well, I, I don't know. I pay a little bit of attention to what's going on up there. Um, I realize that I'm powerless against it, so I'm just watching, you know, as the train wreck happens, I guess. Hey, that's a sensitive subject <laughs> right now. It kind of is. How yeah. about how about the sensitive subject of nukes, Jonas? It's something going on with nukes. It's, been, I don't a, know it's about. been a big talk that yeah, dude, COVID just broke. So you know, might as well throw out the nuclear holocaust. Was, <laughs> it's tough for nukes for man. the ne for the next worldwide dilemma. Yeah, who's, car racing. Who's succeed? about to nuke stuff? Did, did somebody get nukes that weren't allowed? I mean, allowed? who you think about the nuke stuff? Putin. Putin's out here with his nukes. Is he threatening it? I don't know, man. Well, I mean, you brought it up. Why don't you give us the tea? <laughs> Where's the tea? I got the sugar. Throw me the tea, bro. Oh, it's because it's all it's all just like uh, stuff I heard, not really facts. So it's really just a rambling. It's truth, from... not facts, on this That's podcast, so dude. True. We're not. We're not. So, we're, you must DD. Okay. Do your own DD about our stuff. So what I hear is that <laughs> from my sources, <laughs> we are on the cusp of World War Four, as Three. you know. Three, yes, that is what I meant. I thought we were going to skip a number because it was going to be so bad that it, you might as well just pretended another one happened right? first. Okay, yeah, yeah. I consider it a world on drugs, World War Three. Anyway, um, <laughs> the war on drugs. We've been in World War Three since the eighties, folks. So, uh, so like I said, uh, so there's a very good chance that we could end up in World War. Oh III yeah, yeah, because with... well, I mean, like if they mess with any NATO country, which is completely surrounding. Which Ukraine, like, technically, Ukraine is a NATO country. No, they're not. I thought they joined up. No, they want to. I thought they they signed. They up. haven't officially signed up yet. No, uh, believe I mean, me. If, if they do during a war, it's essentially us all saying yes. We're entering this war with Russia by accepting this person into us. So, so yeah. But uh, you know, the Chinese don't want that, Jonas. Yeah, they'll start sprinkling so more crack Where balloons you, on us. Like, I mean, there's been rumblings of World War Three, but where's this? Where the new nuclear news come from? Oh, I don't know. It just had something to do with the fact that uh, the the president went to uh, Ukraine and like made a photo appearance and Justin Trudeau. On President's and, like, Day, like a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot of NATO countries have been like, we stand with Ukraine. Oh yeah, they stand with them, but and they're then, not part. And then China's like, hey, I'm gonna sing Xi Jinping over to go talk to Putin for a little while. You know, it's those kind of, it's all like posturing and it's all very publicized. But you wanna know what else is crazy? That that war's been going on for a year now. Isn't that wild? 
It is. It's insane. Can't believe it. That, well, it's not even a war. It's a special. What do you call it? A yeah. special engagement or something no, like that? Brother, the denazifying the that, Ukrainian no, people no, when they haven't found one Nazi anything over there at all. It's just, dude, it's nuts. I mean, I'm not going to say that they're not a, bunch, a, bunch, a, a country of racists because they are, but it still don't mean that we go over there and kill them. Um, and and uh, I don't know, man. That's that's a whole war. I've seen a lot of footage of that through like uh, through Reddit and stuff. Some shit that I I probably shouldn't have Which seen. Which you would have never seen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and stuff that I'm like, oh well, that's in my head for the rest of my life. But uh, war is hell. War is hell. It and, is uh, absolutely insane. Anyone who's been there, kudos to you because yeah. like you you you're part of the reason why we doing what we doing now. So hey, yo, and if you're at home right now, just. Hey, get, be ready, all right? Be ready. In case the paratroopers come down like in Red Dawn. You, you never got you know. and your friends got to run out to the woods with your guns. You never know, never. man. You never know. Just be ready. Be ready. All right, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com. Thecrazytown.com. For Jonas. TNT. We out.